when I did, I did a mix with the masters, um, seminar in Paris and everybody there was kind of horrified, not shocked, horrified that I basically used like one EQ and varied between generally my work is between two limiters. Maybe there's a third or a fourth that come in every now and then for music that I can't get to sound right with the other limiters. And they were like, that's it. And I was like, they're like, you're a purist. And I was like, no, like, I feel like if I just work in these parameters, I push myself to get the sound with those. And only when I can't is when I step out of those, that, that channel strip. And these guys were like, you know, some guys were talking about, oh, I use this limiter for the bass, and then I use this, I split it, and I use this limiter for the top end, and I use this EQ, and this, and that, and this, and, and I'm like, that's your channel strip? Like, there's so many things in there. <laughs> yeah. And instead of being like, make a pure, like, this is my EQ, this is my limiter, this is whatever, you know, just use a couple things, and then if it doesn't work, then swap them out. But these guys were using everything all the time, and I was like, it's just like, you kind of you're you're not allowing yourself to push yourself. You're just you're you're you have everything in there, and you're like click 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 click, and you're. I think you lose the direction of the music by just saying like, oh, I have nine things, and I'll put all nine things in. You know, like, you know that'll fix it. And all nine things were recommended on you know some YouTube guy's channel or yeah, of course, or whatever. Of course. Because you know? look, the YouTube rec the YouTube uh, lectures that are by people who haven't mixed or mastered or produced a hey, you know a record that people actually listen to, you got to take them with a huge pinch of salt because the incentive there is to drive views so that you can accrue revenue from the YouTube views. They are yeah. not necessarily pro mix engineers. Um, with the people who were saying you were a purist, I'd never advocate arrogance, but of course you might <laughs> be tempted to point out it's like, well, you're the ones attending the seminar and I'm the one teaching it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, that totally. Um, it was funny when I left the seminar. I found myself going back to some analog gear and and uh, reapproaching my work. Like it just their questions. You know, twenty people in the class and twenty people had twenty different lanes of the way they work or workflow or whatever. And it kind of made me think to myself, like, should I change my workflow? Should I should I try this? And I've opened myself up to you know, trying new things now. And, you know, I've kind of expanded some of my gear here and I've tried, I've tried some new things. So it did work a little bit, but at the same time, I still have my template that I use mm -hmm. automatically because that's where I start. You need to start somewhere. You can't just be randomly. I feel, I mean, I feel for me, I can't just be randomly throwing pieces in and, you know, well, like no, when I do an out, when I do an album, I try and keep it glued together, yes. you know, instead of just randomly throwing things in. Yeah, that, of course. Yeah, that's the that's the facility of the discipline of the of the decisions, right? It's like it's it's t decisions are everything. It's like if you have endless endless choice, but you never make any decisions, then, well, that's what leads to actually having no outcome because it, you know an outcome is dependent on a decision. Not to get too like sort of existential about it, but um, I wanted to ask because uh, I. I yeah, it occurred to me when you were talking about the, what you were showing the people at the seminar uh, that you've only mentioned limiters. Uh, why you may have addressed this in mix with the masters, and I've just not seen it yet. But why do you not use, you know, compression with different ratios and you know traditional compression? Why do you not use that kind of thing? And why do you mostly use limiters? Um, I feel like limiters limiter is to me is basically a softer or faster compressor. Um, you know, it just it works a little different. Um, Every now and then I'll use compression, but I'm not a fan of like, I don't know. I'm, I just, I've found that I, the subtleties of limiters work better for me than hard compression. But every now and then I get some record that's so just like unglued. It's so random. It's so home studio demo kind of thing that I will put it through a compressor to kind of give it that, you know, kind of like put it in the same place you know like things are just all over the room you know sounds are just popping out and i feel like okay let me tame it down a little let me run it through some analog stuff to kind of like fill in some gaps right or whatever and then i'll use that i'm just um i mean way back in the day i used to use a, a compressor very lightly for disc cutting um but i just felt like for me now, limiting is kind of whatever. I may be, I, I may or may not be working on some form of light compression thing coming up, but 
We'll see. Well, it's, it's, but it's, <laughs> I, I'm in a testing state. I'm going to be in a testing stage of something else very soon. I look forward so. to seeing how it, how it comes out. But <laughs> um, what you what you described there seems is the opposite of what my intuition uh, suggests, which is that you said you you um, regarded limiters as uh, softer, more transparent than compression, but which is weird because I thought the opposite. And I'm not a pro mastering engineer, so I'm in your care here. But I thought. Of, I thought of limiting as effectively very, very hard compression, like an incredibly high ratio and incredibly fast response time. But it sounds like I'm mistaken about that. What's no, I mean, it, I, I don't, it's hard for me to explain the, the, like, the compression part. It can be used soft in some senses, but for the most part, I feel like it's just too hard for like the, it, it slows down the movement too much right. where a limiter kind of just, tops the peaks and doesn't really like squeeze it together as much i get it kind of gives a very soft transparent haircut to the transients yes where the other one kind of just like does this you know yeah it starts it starts obviously shaping it and you're shaping transients and you're giving the dynamics a completely different temporal landscape i mean i do i you know i had somebody here the other day and uh he was amazed by how much I get into the limiter settings and really sweep them and turn them to see what happens. And I'm like, that's what the knobs are for, you know, right. to literally like presets are great presets. I once in a while I'll ch- like click on a preset just to see like, okay, what does that do? But for the most part, I know like when I'm listening to this song, I know, you know, I'll click on the, the algorithm template and then I'll, you know, kind of go in and, and, you know, dial the release and the attack and the this and the that and you know the the just all i'll just turn every knob until i feel like okay that's moved into the right place that's moved you know like it's almost like you know i mean it's photoshop now i you know like i laugh at myself when i'm doing photoshop because i literally click on every single button you know and i'm like that's kind of what i do in mastering anyway you know i'm like oh it's contrast oh this oh black you know like you know just like different things and it's like you have to turn the knob to see what it does that's interesting because you described limiters there as the opposite of what I would have previously understood them to be, which is like a one setting thing. But there, you are actually dialing all these well, parameters. So the, pre- the presets are like click and then it gives you a couple little options. But I use them in manual all the time and kind of sweep through and see, you know, yep. what it'll do. A lot of times like my recalls, like you would think a lot of times you just put on the limiter and it's kind of like, okay, adjust the level and maybe this, a couple little things. But my limiter is like, I, I might use the same limiter for 13 songs, but the settings will be completely different across the board. 